Dallas, Texas, and Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Tennessee Titans and the Dallas Cowboys. Ryan Suckup, the man tasked with getting this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. Oh, what a move. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. And they're led out by the number one overall pick back in the 2001 draft. He's been around a while. The lefty, Michael Vick. Early in his career, all we focused on with Michael Vick was his athleticism because he made some eye-popping plays along the way. Now, as a veteran, he understands better how to manage the game and really has a great work ethic about wanting to be an NFL quarterback. They'll come out in the pistol. There's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. 26 yards on the pick up there. And that leads to a Dallas first down. So much of this game is still mental, still psychological. Yeah, we just saw a big-time run right there. But you have to believe he was dreaming about this last night in his hotel room before this one, thinking, hey, first time I touch it, let's go for some big yardage and set a tone. That's exactly what he got done. And the offense lining up first and ten. Keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Des Bryant, certainly one of the go-to guys, if not the go-to guy for this offensive unit. One of the most talked-about players in the league, as well as one of the most productive receivers. He attacks the football downfield. on the defensive side. So a second down in completion now brings up third down. throw here out of the gun finding time and he's got his man in stride complete a gain of 19 and picking up the first an ex-teammate used to tell me all the time I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what you really can't hide what you're doing and I think that right there he knew right away where the blitz was coming from where his primary guy was going to be and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game I was just going to ask you that wasn't the primary target and he's so good at that isn't he I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage knew where the pressure was going to come from and said ah, I know how to beat that and that's what he did they'll get it to the 23 yard line a solid run on first down gain of seven leaves him with a second and three this drive is turning into an extended one and and the guy carrying the ball he's becoming more like a body blows guy every carry is putting some damage on the defense so after a while i'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him and after the play on the ground that brings up second down here Play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. Holding defense. So the defensive holding penalty here, Charles. You get outside of five yards downfield and you get grabby with an offensive player. 
The flag will come out every time. In the red zone this time. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. No matter what play call you have on, you're always conscious of edge pressure disrupting you. And it doesn't matter whether it's a pass or a run. And in this case, it was a draw, and the edge pressure came in and destroyed the play. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Well, that was better than the first go around when he lost yardage, but still nothing there, and that sets up a third and long. Tough spot here. Put it mildly, sometimes I wonder if some of that old school football should come back into play. You know what I would think here? Quick kick. Try and change field position, help out your team. On third down, he'll drop to throw, and he will find his man on the outside. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. scrimmage back at the six that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down the defense won that play so fast that i think if the running back even had time to notice if anyone was there it was just a blink of an eye and there was a loss on the play So the false start will back them up five. Still second down. set up to throw that's caught at the three and he is into the end zone for a cowboy touchdown their big bodied receiver from 10 yards out and the cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive as a former db you might not like to see that but from a wide receiver's perspective those are the plays they dream of correct on both counts <laughs> all right because once he took off I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. A 10-play drive that time, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. 
This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be let out by their six-year quarterback. immediately there it's a loss of a yard there and now second down that play never got off the ground because of the defensive front they own the offensive line which allowed the linebackers to see their openings and run straight to the ball that's why that play just never had a chance and this should be the final play before the quarter ends one quarter in the books. 7 nothing is our score. We're back to Arlington in just a moment. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. It's the Titans with a football here to begin quarter number two, but they face a second and long to start things out. He'll look to throw. Surveying the field. He's going to float this one. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A gain of 39 that time. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. And now a first down following that long game. Now they try the right side here. And he's got some space here. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. We really didn't have any doubt that he was going to be one of the top-rated rookies coming into the league, especially as a runner. And he's given us no reason to change our minds. That's a big-time run. And the production that he showed us in college is translating very well into the National Football League. Fresh set of downs here. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And this time they're able to bottle him up as they'll stop him at the line of scrimmage. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. the former Heisman winner. It's Derrick Henry. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Out of the gun now on third down. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. So on fourth down, here's the Tennessee field goal unit led by Ryan Suckup. And 
And Suckup will put this one right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. Well, their offense has struggled for sure, but they get the field goal here and at least get on the board before half. And that's not something we should underestimate because just getting points on the board can sometimes have a settling effect on a team. Helps them start their comeback. Suckup now set to kick it off following the made field goal. This fielded at the two. And he will be marked out right there at the 20 yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. They start on the ground with Elliott. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. He's quite an eyeful, isn't he? Big, strong, physical guy. When he came out of school, when I looked at my draft board, I went back through my notes to see how I had him rated. The number two back on my board coming out of college. Why? As I mentioned, big. Strong, powerful guy, faster than you would think, and has the ability to catch the football out of the backfield, something that we didn't know he truly possessed. We saw that in the offseason workout. Now he's putting his running ability to good use in the NFL. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. Ten yards still left on second down. Again, we'll see the pistol here. On second down, Elliott. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. As I search for my cue card here, there we go. Coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis from our first half of play. Well read. Yeah, thank you. Well, they've gone backwards so far in this series, third and 13. One man in the backfield, Elliott. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And some room to run now. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Time in the pocket. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Holding offense. Yeah, that right there will set him back a bit Still on the offensive down. holding penalty. And you know who you want to pressure after a penalty like that? The guy who just committed the foul. You want to see if he's going to keep his head down or if he's going to get his head right back into the game. I'd send a blitz at him right away and see if he holds up. So 20 yards to go here on first down. 
They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Second down now after the pass completion. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Caught left side, Williams. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Third down and one. They'll look to throw. He completes it to Bryant. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. And they're on third and short. They just tried to spread the field. It worked. And I think that the spreading of the field, the extra receivers, has really become the next in the evolutionary chain in the NFL. Go all the way back in that situation, you're handed to the fullback, right? As we evolved, maybe you pitched it to your tailback. Now you spread the field, and you have your choices of where to throw it and complete it for a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he can't hang on. That was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick. But instead, it falls down incomplete. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. So second and ten here. Let's go! Again, he'll drop to throw. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So the offensive unit called the T.O., and now we are ready to resume play. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions, step up and make those throws, and he did that. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. A nickel set shown by the Titans on third down. Think and pass. Back to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. drive here play 12 coming up for the offense back 
to throw again. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Vick with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. And that will give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded at the two. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. And the Cowboys defense, they march back out onto the field. And they did well down near the goal line last time, forcing him to settle for a short field goal. And in today's day and age, Settling for a field goal of that distance, it's amazing. You can get three points now, where it's going to give you only one point for the extra point, which would be a little bit longer. But they have to feel fantastic about only giving up three in that situation. It could have been so much worse. Yeah, it could have. Now can they carry that over? Try and start this drive in the air. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. gun they'll look to throw and Walker with it over the middle and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40 yard line now hold everything here we're going to get a timeout by the offense it's just their first so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime so we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout They get the completed pass, but still have more to go here on third down. Let's go! Five, nine. Five, nine. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And welcome back. The offensive unit, they took the timeout. And now they get set to line up as we resume action. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. to throw again he's going to leave this for his running back it's complete and he goes down but not before getting this inside the 25 a good pick up there 22 
Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He connected on his first, this from 41. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest as we send you over to our headquarters in Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Cowboys right now are doing a good job protecting their house. The Titans, on the other hand, want to quiet this crowd and turn things around. All right, let's do it. Here's a look at the first half highlights. Cowboys take it at the six. Cowboys have it at the seven. Vick's going to run off the left side, and he'll go in from seven yards out. The Cowboys push their lead to 11. Titans take over late in the second. The pass is completed. It's a tight coverage, and it's going to end up going for a gain of 22. Okay, Larry, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. On the return, the old reliable Devin Hester, the veteran. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Walker with a grab, left side. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's got time. He's going to go for a big play downfield. That's caught inside the 20. A big play that time for the Titans. 51 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. 
first possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Try and get the running game going with Elliott. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Tackle made there by Sean Spence. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit. You stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. Again, it's Elliott, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. They'll look to throw here. He completes it to Bryant. A gain of 13 and also a first down. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact to complete it. Another pistol look here. A first down carry by Elliott. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. A loss of a full three yards. And now it's second down. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense. They were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? And <laughs> Almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility? Let's go! They go to Elliott again. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Tackle that time by Nate Palmer. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look, six DBs. They'll look to throw. Out left side here to Bryant. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. He'll try and keep this away from Hester as this is going toward the sideline. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about Hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? And now here's a carry heading left. Oh, the spin. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? 
has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. They'll come out in the pistol. First down, he'll drop to throw. Finding time. And he's got his man on the comebacker. And he's brought down after a good game. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. strike they'll look to throw toward the sideline and look at that catch dragging the toes and that's going to be a first down well done let's make this one simple what a catch especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds toe tapping and of course foot dragging a little tapestry if you will oh i like it First down. Going right side here, and that's complete. They give him 15 more, and it's another first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. So they're operating in the red zone. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and 2. Some runs are blocked so well. You almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. we're seeing up front for the offense today they've got to think about changing up their play calling some screens some draws some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game you don't totally abandon it but you try and give it a little bit of help and on third down the cowboys bringing an extra defensive back the shotgun he'll look to throw and this is going to be incomplete so the grab there by the defense the holding penalty call this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone and it brings up second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but 
That's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Second and goal from the seven. Henry out of the pistol. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. An extra defensive back on the field here for third and goal. throw and complete to the tight end Walker right side and he will score touchdown Titans Delaney Walker a five yard touchdown and the Titans have made this a one score game So a big two-point conversion attempt forthcoming for the Titans. We got four. We got four. Come on, let's go! They'll try and throw for it. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. It's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. there nickel set fit defensive back on the field and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender yeah because those dbs like you they want the interception they're not as worried about the running play right not at all and I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school that one of my offensive line teammates used to say boy i'd love to come downfield hit you little people good run there time for a break we're back to see what happens after this So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. So here we go, first and ten now. Yeah, the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. All right.
right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Second down to the offense in search of six yards. They come out here in the eye. A give to Elliott. And he'll be taken down. Now another timeout here called by the Titans. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Now hang on here, timeout called, timeout called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Second down following the run. This is Elliott, and this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. One of the beauties of a 3-4 defense is that you have flexibility with your linebackers, and you can put them in different spots. But one of the downsides is an offensive team that's committed to running the football, you can get your big offensive lineman up on linebackers quicker, and that usually gives you an advantage in running it. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Let's go. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance. But that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you could hear it in your voice. That one more stop. I feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow. What a way to finish this one off. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee. Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.